okay plateau of pressure as we just said in the previous video it's the maximum alveolar pressure during respiratory cycle with our inspiration and expiration we measure it at the end of inspiration and before expiration begins so the inspiration the flow sees and becomes zero we close the expiratory valve and we put what we call inspiratory hold which means hold everything after inspiration simply you tell the respiratory therapist please perform inspiratory hold maneuver they will and the ventilator will show you a screen with where it will tell you what the pressure then the proximal airway pressure then that's simply the proximal airway pressure after inspiratory hold maneuver is equivalent to plateau pressure and at that point which i'll talk about in next video we can find out where is the problem that causing elevated peak ins uh, inspiratory pressure to be high now plateau pressure from this let's call it plateau pltp is equivalent to tidal volume divided by compliance so if this is increasing there is either a problem that the tidal volume is high or the compliance is low remember low compliance mean that the alveoli are less stretchable unable to go from here to here easily and you can only guess anything that prevent the alveoli from doing this can cause this problem let's name some pulmonary edema and pulmonary fibrosis these are problem in the interstitium right here and will prevent the alveoli from distending normally or stretching normally or it could be something coming from outside compressing like obesity pregnancy ascites because these putting compression from outside in the lung and the alveoli and doesn't allow them to stretch easily this will decrease compliance as well also let's name atelic pneumothorax ptx i'm gonna call it here or atelectasis that means the tidal volume is entering at the alveoli but there is less space for it that will decrease compliance uh, sorry this will increase dec decrease compliance and consequently increasing plateau pressure or to uh, sort of gas trapping which I'm going to talk about it in details later on. That means there is extra air, excess air left in the alveoli after expiration. Not the, the proper amount of air that's supposed to be exhaled was not exhaled. So some residual remain in the alveoli. So now putting an extra tidal volume, this will increase the air in the alveoli and increase plateau pressure. So anything decrease compliance as we talked here will increase plateau pressure any increased tidal anything will increase tidal volume will increase plateau pressure again sometimes you just need to understand the concept so you don't have to memorize that obesity or pregnancy and ascites or pulmonary, pulmonary fibrosis or pneumothorax or telectis or gas trapping how do they increase the plateau pressure and that's how you need to troubleshoot the problem with the increase a peak inspiratory pressure.